Okay, viewers, and welcome to Let's Play Ogre Battle! On today's exciting episode, we're going to be conquering the third to last stage of the game. This is City of Xanadu. Uh, we are now in the heart of the Empire, which is, this is where the Empire was born. This is the Highlands. So that's where we're going to go. Um, I've already predetermined which uh, units I'm going to deploy today, as I always do, by checking to see which ones are under level the most. As you can see, this is a fairly large map compared to some of the ones we've had in the past. The most difficult part about this particular map is the fact that we're now in the heart of the Empire, and these cities, as you can see here, for example, are not particularly fond of us. Um, well, these ones aren't too bad, but as you get up here, you know, you're going to get a lot of low... Well... I guess you can't really tell by clicking on it, but, you know, the point is, just trust me when I say these cities are not fond of us, because, obviously, it's the Empire. Let me show you what I mean uh, as I deploy my units here. Okay, so as I deploy just a small group of units here, okay, the temples are not going to matter, nor are hidden cities, because hidden cities don't have the same... Oh, shit. Same negative... Um, effects from uh, liberation as... Okay, so as you can see here, you heathens, barbarians, the gods will punish you for this. Okay, so, you know, that gives you a sense of what's going on here. Now, I'm going to go show you how what happens when you liberate okay, a normal so city. So, Sulfur City of Qualash, and, you know, my reputation probably went down a point there. You can't really tell. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep that card. And then it says dot dot dot. You are the ogres. You bring nothing but destruction to the world. So just a, a warm welcome all around. Now, in contrast to that, let's go over and get a hidden city. And I recommend we get all of the hidden cities on this one because we're going to need them to keep up with the cash flow. So let's send Yushis over here as well. Okay, good charisma there. So this one, they're not yelling at us, which is good. When the Empress first created this land, she dreamed of happiness and prosperity. However, the teachings of the black magic have spread, and the Empress began to clutch to her power, sending anyone who disagreed with her into exile or prison. There's no justice in the Empire. Please save the Highlands. Okay, so there's a favorable city. See? So it's not, it's not all bad. And there's a couple more where that came from. But, you know, while I'm over here, I might as well grab some of the treasures, because they're just all over the place on this map. So, I'm going to head to the mountains there. In the meantime, I'm going to continue deploying some units. So, you know, we've got 100... And, sorry, 1.3 mil goth. And my goal for these next three stages is just to not to lose it all. Um, we're probably not going to make money these stages. Um, and speaking of money, I, I have a little bit more money than you might have remembered because I went ahead and sold some things. First of all, I sold almost every weapon that was crappy like a lot of these ones I'm finding here. I also sold a couple of the items that had just been sitting there, like the trophy or the uh, cameo. And they sold for good money, so I'm, I'm doing pretty well on uh, money, actually, right now. Let's see here. And so we're just going to go up here now as the uh, first enemy attacks Gozer. Gozer's just going to obliterate them here. I'm on the lookout maybe for one or two units I might want to charm and grab their um, non-leader characters. Right, I can't remember if I can get their leaders, too. I think I can with the charm. Um, okay, there's a treasure there. Very nice. And I gotta tell you, viewers, the main reason, I mean, with maybe the exception of the hero sword so far, really the reason I'm getting these treasures is just to be able to sell them to make up for the lost income I'm gonna have here. Okay, so we're gonna wanna grab this city here, because this is the shop city, so let's go ahead and liberate that one send Linux up to that as well. Again, very good units at this stage in the game. Ouch. Okay, not, not too shabby. Okay, Gozer's gonna easily kill him, but I, I gotta do an all heal on Linux. And it's still gonna be a, a battle. Ouch. Ouch. Should, I should win. Okay. 
Lover's card, that will help my reputation as well. I don't want to hear any word you dogs say. Get out of here. Okay, so again, another warm welcome there. Let's get, um... Let's get Lion up here to reinforce. And let's get my guy out of dodge. So, you know, my, my playing style, guys, is just very, um, exaggerated, uh... Just, uh accentuate the alignment differences within the units and keep them very segregated based on alignment. And so I think that really comes to play here in the late game because the nighttime versus daytime aspect of battle and the the way that the unit gets together, you know, gets along with its other constituent members is much more noticeable in the late game, I think, than than in the early game. Okay, so let's get some heal on that guy. A lion. Lion, um, unfortunately, is just not going to be able to develop fully uh, because Lion himself is only a dragon dragoner as opposed to a dragon master. Which okay, and there's one of the first Seraphim that we've seen in the game here. We've seen one as a boss battle, I think, but we haven't seen seen them in the middle of um, just regular battle here. They're very powerful, and I desperately want to get a few of my own. Before I go on, I'm just going to make sure I've got all the units that I want deployed. So, one, four, six. I need Aisha out. And eight, nine, I've got. Fourteen, yep. Sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so I've got them all except for Aisha. So I'll get Aisha out. And let's send her. Let's send her on just like a kind of attack mission here. She's gonna take the C to get there. Alright, Lion. Let's see if you can finish these guys off. So there's your Jihad attack. Very powerful. Especially against uh, evil units. And boom, they're dead. Okay, very nice. For some reason, the enemy is just waiting. So, I would recommend. Um, let's put Canopus up here on this city here. There's going to be a, a hidden city there. So I guess you can kind of assume, based upon the dialogue we just had at the other hidden city, that maybe a hidden city is a city that's hiding from the Empire, as it were. Gozer's a pretty freaking powerful unit. Okay, so we're going to take this city here. Hangman, that's not what I want. Many people in the Highlands consider you invaders. That certainly won't help uh, with uh, will already be a difficult battle. You'd best be careful what cities you liberate here. With quotations. And I can understand. Okay, so... Nice job. Okay, Saradin, our base guard, is going to absolutely massacre this unit. Yep. Okay, so we lost 60. That's not terrible. Alright, Lion. Okay, Yushis. I'm glad Yushis is getting some experience because I really want those... Cherubim to turn into uh, Seraphim. Can I use an Emperor card? No. Let's use the Lover's card, though. Okay, Lion. It's going to take him out pretty handily. Oh, they didn't quite die. Alright, Norn. I really want that Pixie to become a uh, Sylph as well. So let's see if maybe she's ready for that. Uh, 79 and 59 charisma. Maybe it's charisma-ish. Nope, it's ready. Thank God. Okay, our first sylph. Alright. It's about freaking time. Three levels until the game's done, but... Whatevs. Okay, Canopus. Now, here's another one where we can develop some seraphim. So let's give them a little assistance here, shall we? Eh, it's gonna kill that mage. Hangman. There we go. Ouch. Alright, no problem. Canopus. Canopus is still a little bit weak, um, and he needs to get those uh, Cherubim up to Sylph ASAP. Alright, he'll be fine, though. He'll, he'll probably win this one, because that... Yeah, with those mages gone, they don't have a chance now, so... Let me change it to strong. I 
just hope they don't kill my samurai guy. Ouch! They did. But I killed them. Okay, I'm pretty well stocked in items, so I'm not too worried about that. So... Tell you what, guys. Well, let me just look up what it takes to upgrade a Cherubim. Okay, in order to become a uh, Seraphim, you need to have level 22. By the way, in order to become a Sylph, you need level 20. And the Sylph needs a uh, alignment between 80... I'm sorry, 40 and 80. Whereas the... Um, uh, Seraphim needs an alignment over 80, Charisma over 70. Uh, there is no Charisma requirement for a Sylph, so... It's mostly just a leveling thing. So as you can see, the alignment on these guys is good, so it'll just be a matter of one more level, I think, until they're ready for Seraphim, so that'll be exciting. Okay, Gozer, in the meantime, back to our evil unit. With a Black Dragon as a tank. And Norn with oh yeah we got a Sylph now so Norn just did um oh what's that called rocket or something I I, I should stop fast forwarding through those attacks if I want to know what they're called okay so we got monk unit here and it's gone By the way, just kind of a preview, if you're doing this at home, you know, this game, you know, at home, just uh, make sure you know that this uh, boss battle in this level is going to be with Ronnie. So even though I don't have Ronnie deployed right now, you might think about deploying Ronnie if, if you can uh, as the, uh, for the boss battle. Okay. So there's a self, or a Seraphim, rather. So why not, because I've got this charm down here, I might as well use it to get that Seraphim. Oh, okay, I can't get... I can't get a leader. Okay, never mind, that was a waste. Okay, Aisha. So, but I did get a monk, so whatever that's worth. <laughs> Aisha's just going to dominate here in the sea. And that's kind of nice, because I really want to um, do this level as quickly as humanly possible so as to lose the smallest amount of money as humanly possible. So if I can just get Aisha to keep dominating, that would be awesome. And Saradin. Saradin's just going to massacre this unit. It's just not even funny. And Aisha's just going to... You know, they've got so many area of effect. They've got six area of effect hit-alls. And then that Kraken with, like, bazillion shots as well. Okay, I should probably pay attention to the health of my Kraken. We'll use an all heal to make sure they're doing okay. Oh, good. Oh, shoot, I thought that was going to hit him. Oh, well. Okay, I should take this one out easily as well. Okay, very good. And I might, I might get that uh, skull unit that's coming there, too. Okay, so as we get into this battle here, I'm also going to look up um, just real quickly how many enemy units there are. And there are 29 enemy units deployed, so I feel like we're making good headroads. That's pretty standard these days. Okay, so I'm very concerned about this. Uh, this battle line here, so I think I might, as I deploy Canopus, well, you know, if he can just get those those guys up a level, he'll be fine. What if I do it justice? That should help. And then maybe an Empress? Maybe. Maybe in a little bit. Maybe a tower, or a strength card, rather. Ooh, ouch. Okay, let's do the Empress card. Okay, so what I'm going to do now with Canopus is an all heal and then a boots. And then he's just going to absolutely massacre that unit now. The third time's the, char the charm, right? Okay, I don't need an all heal, so... <laughs> I'll just use the boots, I guess. Ok, 
Okay. My Samus leveled, but unfortunately the other guy didn't. Okay, so they'll just finish this unit off there. Very nice. Hopefully they can just uh, get. The, I just need to get those cher cherubim up a level. Ouch. Tower card that should be effective against this particular unit. Okay, well, let's take him out. Let's open up a can of whoop ass. They might, uh, they might kill me with that. I better do a world card. Yeah, see, I just saved their lives. Okay, but you know what? I gained my levels that I was looking for. Okay, so... Boom. Seraphim. Boom. Seraphim. Okay, now we actually have a unit that's worth something. Okay, so we'll go ahead and send them up to here. I think he'll make it back in time to fight that. If not, I'll use the boots. Very nice. Okay, I think I'm going to take Aisha out of the main battle, because she's got... Yeah, she's got good good stats now. Good level, so I'm going to move her back to the base. Or maybe I should reinforce Canopus. Alright, so he just barely made this in time, but look at those pretty Seraphim now. Ouch. Well, we killed that one. That's nice. Okay, well, it didn't do that much damage because that Muse probably has a high magic defense, but the point is it's a much better unit than it was. And we're going to use another all heal. Okay, that should help. Let's do it. I just have to unpause for that. And almost killed them all. Okay, very nice. I think I'm going to use the boots item on... Well, let's see how... No, they're, they're still they're still under level. I think they can continue fighting for a while. That's fine. Um. Okay. Still losing about sixty. That's okay. I just I, th I think I don't want there to be another tax cycle on this map where I lose money. So I'm gonna try to avoid that. Oh, should have uh, paid more attention there. This could be bad. the Seraphim only have one hit all attack. It's still kind of cool, though. That's pretty effective. Okay. Took them out. Very nice. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take these guys out. With those uh, gold dragons, it's just... Those, they're tough again with... Uh, good units. Maybe I should send a bad unit in there. Let's um, use the boots to get Lion over there, shall we? By the way, I had an extra undead sitting around from earlier, I think a couple stages ago, that I forgot to use. So I went ahead and used it on my one rogue sorcerer. So now I have like four liches instead of three liches and a sorcerer. If you're keeping track, I, you're probably not. Can I catch this guy? I think I can. Ah, shit. Well, whatever. Well, fortunate. Get the fuck out of my... Well, that didn't work. I was gonna say get the fuck out of my way, but it just obviously didn't work. Okay, well, I didn't catch him. Okay, well, I think I might send Aisha home. I'm gonna send Aisha home. She's good. It looks like the enemy only has two more units, so maybe I should send somebody else home. How about Canopus?
Well, I better use the boots to get Aisha home in time. Because if I think I can save a little bit of money here by, you know, at least 25000 by doing that. So now, yeah, I'm only losing, um, 40. A little less than 40, so that's great. Okay. Nice job, Lion. And I think what I'll do now, as the uh, it's clear the enemy uh, units are in decline, so I think what I'm going to do now is send my dude up to liberate the RT that's over here. So the trick is, you know, finding that balance, like how many cities do you liberate and how much reputation do you risk. And I did draw like a lover's card or something, so that helps offset it a bit. Um, let me see how I'm doing on uh, on things. Let's send her over here. Oops, sorry. Um, there should be an RT right over here. There it is. Good. They want me to help save the souls of the Highlanders. Okay. So, if you've been paying attention, then we've gotten uh, three, maybe four hidden things. There's one more hidden city right down here that I want for tax purposes. Um, by the way, there's just, there's utterly nothing special about this stage, um, so don't get excited. Let's send Norn home to save money as well. How could you, uh, how could the Highlands be subject to invaders like you, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, my reputation feels okay, but I think I'm, st I'm gonna stop liberating towns now. So, I just, and I feel like maybe all the enemy is gone. Uh, okay, neutral character here. Ice Giant, don't need it. That's fine. Okay, so... Hey gosh, personal bodyguard, Empress. Overlord himself. Uh, sign that the Highlanders are finished, but that's fine. The Highlands have chosen the way of the Barbarians, and that's not right. Okay, so, oops. Okay, just, I only lost six, six grand there. That's good. I'm gonna send pretty much everybody home at this point. Once I confirm that there are no more enemy left. So let's get hit, get rid of that guy. Let's go ahead and, uh, I'll probably do one cycle of taxes for profit only. Let's go back down to right about here. Neutral character. Don't need him. Okay. Snow cape. Another one of those. Because we always need a snow cape. And then we're going to want to go over to here, actually. And just sort of like random in the middle of this random fucking field is this uh, treasure. So let's try to get it. There it is. Okay, and so that's uh, Bandana, and that looks awfully valuable there. And so there's only three more that we're going to get as we uh, profit there. So we'll, uh, and Eushis is in the base, so that takes care of units. So we gained another 60, which is excellent. So well, let's do one more attack cycle and then get ready to attack. And so in preparation for the attack, we're going to have to deploy Ronnie. Ronnie is the daughter of this... Hikash guy. Okay, so theoretically there's a treasure somewhere over here on this fucking tundra plane. There it is. Okay. Thunder. Okay, so let's get uh, the two more here. And then we'll deploy Ronnie while we're waiting for my dude to get over there. So you're going to want to go to this, this random road that's kind of hard to... It's like an ice road. Like ice road truckers kind of thing. Fifteen grand. So my units are getting kind of expensive, as you can see. Now Ronnie is a great unit, but... I'll tell you what, so is the enemy unit. This is going to be a challenge battle. Okay, Gnotos is a great sword. 
and we'll just grab our guy and we'll send him over to get the last treasure as Ronnie gets into place. So obviously this is a tundra, this is a cold level, so um, just keep that in mind. Uh, you know, maybe if, <laughs> if I were going to redo this thing I'd think about that as I was deploying my, my people. Okay, so I've got all the treasure. By the way, if you want to go down to the uh, shop city, uh, that's not the shop city, but okay, Ronnie is in position. And I just want to get to the shop city so I can show you uh, what you can buy before we attack. Okay, so he can buy heal, all heal, revive boots, and folio. The folios, uh, you can trade it for a full moon, which allows you to get a tiger man at a different stage, but it's worthless. Uh, frankly, so I'm just going to get a couple boots to get me through the game, uh, a couple revives to get me through the game, and a couple all heals to get me through the game. And this is probably the last time I'll buy any items, so there you have it. Okay, so we've almost, we're going to have uh, a million again, so that's fine. Okay, so it's boss time, isn't it? So just leave these fucking cities unliberated. Um, I guess you could liberate that temple real quick. Let's get the temple so we can get another card. The temple won't cause any reputation change, so let's just get this temple right quick. Oh, okay. That's, that's great. You heathens, the gods will punish you for this. You heathens, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, uh, miscalculation there with the temple. We got the moon card, so we have to wait until morning to attack, because I don't want, I don't want to attack at, at night. Okay, so let's go. So watch this. Ronnie has met the end. Ronnie, that I will have to face you in battle. Father, put down your sword. The empire is finished. You must have noticed the change in the Empress of Dora. She is a blemish on the honor of the Highlands. Sorry, I had to yawn. Shut up. We are a noble family who always have been have supported the, her highness. I must protect her to the end. Why do you not understand this? But father, blah, blah, blah. I understand. You must follow the path you believe in. You need to make the same... You need not make the same mistake. I fight for my queen, for my own honor and pride. Now, draw your sword, Ronnie. Show me the strength of a paladin. Even though she's not a paladin, she's a muse. Actually, she's a princess. So, I digress. So we're going to have uh, six, seven, eight hit all attacks. Ouch. If you have a world card, by the way, this would not be a bad time to use it. Uh, I do not have a world card. I do have a hermit card. So let's use that. Oh boy. We might be in for a bit of a rude awakening. Ouch. Battle of the Thunder. Okay. So now it's just him, but let me tell you, that is more than enough. Um, I'm really glad my... Uh, my muses there are equipped with uh, black magic uh, type swords that increase their strength and give them a black attack because it really does help. Okay, so you know we made good progress. And he, yeah, he took out one of my muses, but that's no problem. Look at that awesome icon, by the way. We're we're gonna nail him this time. I think I might try to get a world card real quick with the Joker, but other than that, we're in pretty good shape. So we'll do one more heal there, and let's use the Joker. Got 80 of them, might as well use a few of them here. Fortune Emperor, Fortune Lovers, Moon, I don't need a moon. Okay, well, I guess I didn't get the world card, but I have some options to work with at least, so let's do this again. So he's at 73, and by the way, let's, well, it doesn't, honestly, doesn't matter what tactic he is here, but. Um, we're going to use Hierophant to put them to sleep, which is not as good as World, but it'll be better. Ouch. Only one of them woke up, that's nice. Okay, and they're all awake now. Okay. But we've got the upper. There it is. Boom, look at that. Father, speak to me, Father. I'm sorry that your father is such a foolish man, Ronnie. Please remember this. I, I am very proud of you, Ronnie. Proud to have a daughter like you. Please, stop her highness. She has been misled by Rashidi. Please do this, Roddy. And remember that your father loves you very much. Father! Okay, so, you know, shed a tear. Get all sad about it, whatevs. 
And we actually got some bonus guy. That could have milked him for a little bit more money. So go ahead and save. And save again. Um, let's go to the units and see if there's any upgrades that I missed. Boom, 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 boom. Not seeing any. Okay, no upgrades that I missed. So we've actually got some Sylphs and Seraphim now, so we're really getting close. And there are only two stages left, folks. So join me next time for the end game of Empress Endora on Let's Play Ogre Battle. Oh, and just remember, Professor Snuggles is looking out for you.